y'all happy wednesday so i am actually getting ready to film a couple videos so i figure i might as well share myself getting ready with y'all to start this vlog out so i have washed my face i already put my moisturizer with sunscreen on and now i'm going to apply some foundation let's see what we're gonna wear today so of course now that i've turned my camera or phone on to record the lawn people show up never fails <laughs> Anyway, so the foundation I'm going to wear today is this one from NARS. I feel like I've been wearing this a ton lately, but it's actually really good for hot weather because it's not greasy. Um, so when it's colder, I was wearing a like highlighting fluid underneath it. But I think today I'm good. I don't think I need any highlighting fluid today. I'm just going to apply a tiny, tiny bit. Like that much is all I'm going to start out with because I find that this can... This gives really good coverage and it can easily start looking like too much. So I just apply a tiny bit with this. I prefer to apply it with my fingers just because I feel like it gives me a more natural look. But when I want to look more made up, I will use my beauty blender um, for the most part. And I'm just going to apply a tiny bit more and try to focus that on my cheek area. Now y'all are probably looking at me like... I can't tell the difference <laughs> and honestly I kind of want it to look that way because I am getting ready to do videos but I'm not gonna wash my face before I go like pick up my kids from school and go to therapy and all that and I don't really like looking super made up when I do those kind of things like go to therapy and all I just feel kind of out of place um, if I look super made up so I feel like this is something that'll transition well so that's all the foundation I'm gonna apply I'm going to apply some concealer and the concealer I'm going to use is this one from Too Faced. This is the Born This Way Concealer in Butterscotch. I'm going to use my NARS Casino Bronzer. This is the cream. And I know I've shared this with y'all before on a favorites video, but I actually haven't used it recently just because recently I've been doing my makeup upstairs, like in my bathroom, and it wasn't up there. <laughs> so as soon as I knew I was going to do it down here today, I'm like, I want to wear that because I haven't worn it lately. And I just think it's really pretty. Even though on the hands, it looks kind of like ashy, like when you look at it without putting on your face, but I think on my face, it does a good job of giving me natural type definition. I don't think we're gonna do any eyeshadow today. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer. I'm kinda out of order here, <laughs> probably because I'm filming it, but usually I set my concealer right after, right after I put, on, put it on, but forgot today for whatever reason. Powder I'm using is from Beauty Bakery. This is the translucent powder, I think. For my blush today, I'm going to use NARS Taj Mahal, one of my faves. I'm not gonna use any highlighter or anything today just because the blush that I'm using is kind of radiant. So I'm gonna skip highlighter. I don't apply highlighter if, every day anyway, but just letting y'all know. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and I'm using the Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil and I have the shade Deep Brown. And then I'm going to apply some mascara. This is Lancome Lash Idol or Idol, I think is how we pronounce it. So I messed up my mascara a little bit over here, um, but I'm gonna just let it dry and then I will clean it up in the bathroom. I'll just take like a Q-tip or a piece of tissue and just kind of wipe it away. Um, or sometimes I use like a spoolie to do that. So yeah, 
Um, so all that's left really is lips and I kind of wanted to do some orange lips today, but I don't know which one. Maybe I'll do this one. This is from Beauty Bakery and this is called Picnic on Peach Tree. And it's a pretty orange, but it is kind of drying and all. Not necessarily drying, but it's very matte. I just have on chapstick. Usually I will rub my chapstick off before applying my lipstick. But with this one, I kind of feel like I shouldn't do that. So let me blend that in on my fingers. That's one little tip I have. I've been doing this for years. Um, with bright lipsticks especially, I like to blend them out on my fingers because I just feel like I get a better blend on my lips. I don't typically line my lips, but when I line them, I do the same thing. I kind of have a natural line on my lips, so sometimes I feel like lipsticks look a little weird um, because of my natural like darkness around my lips. But yeah, I think that looks good. So I'm gonna go wash my hands, clean up my mascara, and I'll be back in a jiffy. All right, so I'm back. So now I just need to fluff out my hair and then I need to get to filming. All right, so there we go. The girl is ready. So I'm gonna go film these videos and I'll check back in with y'all after that. I am so annoyed right now because the lawn people, they're not even my lawn people, they're my next door neighbors, but for some reason they seem extremely loud today and they've gotten louder. <laughs> and because of that, I can't really film my video right now because even if I go film like in my living room where I sometimes film, you can still hear it in there. Like, I feel like I can't escape them. Now it's probably louder in my office because this part of my house is closer to my neighbor's yard. But still, it's like, can y'all hurry? up please i got things to do so i'm sitting here now with my makeup all done getting all not fresh and uh <laughs> i'm ready to get this video filming over with so yeah anyway i'll stop complaining <laughs> i'll see y'all later all right so i got both videos filmed i just came in here to make myself some coffee and um get to editing one of the videos. One of the videos I really wanted to go live today because I'm trying to stick to a schedule. I don't know if you guys have noticed it yet. I haven't announced it because I honestly feel like I don't want to announce it and then don't stick to it. So, <laughs> so I am trying to stick to a schedule. So this video should be going up today um, for me to stay on my schedule. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and edit it, one of them and get it put up today. So that's a stretch, guys. Um, sometimes, like depending on the day or the kind of video, it usually takes like at least an hour for me to edit it, depending on the kind of video. And um, then I need to upload it and add links and stuff. Now, this video I'm going to be uploading doesn't really have many links because it's just talking about one item. So at least that part will be easy. <laughs> and then I just need to like link what makeup or whatever, or lipstick or whatever I wore. So that's not that bad. So let me get to it, got my coffee. I'm gonna try to go ahead and put on my little blue light glasses and get to working. Hey y'all, so I am actually putting away some clothes and there's two things I wanted to share with y'all. So I figured I might as well turn the camera on. Number one is I smell damn good right now. <laughs> I got a new fragrance sent to me from a company. I'm not gonna tell y'all the name or anything right now just because I am filming a video including that fragrance, so I don't wanna spoil it. And I believe this one will be up before that one. I'm really not completely 100% sure, but I just wanted to give y'all my first reaction. So later on, you will know what fragrance I'm talking about, but this thing is so bomb, so bomb. It's like a tobacco scent but it's done like so lightly like i feel like any woman would be comfortable wearing this even though it is it does feature the note of tobacco but it features like other stuff too i don't know the notes right off hand but it's amazing y'all and i just i sprayed it on probably like 10 minutes ago and i was getting ready to put some stuff away and i just could not stop smelling myself like i could smell it on me i didn't even over spray it but i can smell it on me and as i was folding clothes like i could just get whiffs from my arms you know like <laughs> So anyway, I wanted to share that with y'all because that's like an honest first reaction to it. 
and you'll know what the fragrance is later um but i just don't want to share it now so hopefully that's not like annoying but i also wanted to show these pajamas to you just a sec so i picked these pajamas up from target yesterday and these are part of the stars above collection these are like the soft ones they are so soft i have some more of these pants these are just the pants um because that's when i buy this kind that look like this i like to just buy the pants and i just pair them with the tank top um but yeah these are so super super soft now i really like the simply cool version which is more of like a um a thinner like cotton or poplin material but they really don't come out with that many designs of that one but i've tried this brand this one too and i really like it i just i have these in a different print so i wanted to share these they're actually on sale right now at least when I'm filming this. And I'm getting ready to put them in the washer, so I figure I might as well show them to you. And I picked up these sleep bras. I hope I like them. Um, I don't like to sleep without a bra, but I don't like to be like restricted either. So I usually will try to pick some of these up. I don't think I've ever tried. Oh, yeah, I have. I have tried Dan Skin brand. So these should work. And I picked these up from Marshalls for 10 bucks. I'm getting ready to wash this um, so that I can wear them. Oh, my hands are ashy y'all <laughs> just washed them <laughs> but anyway um yeah so i'm getting ready to wash these so i figured i would share them prior to doing that hey y'all so it is 205 and i just pulled up at my son's school for pickup 55 minutes before school gets out and there's probably at least another 40 people already here like this is so ridiculous i hope this gets straightened out soon i wouldn't even come this early except he has therapy at 3 30 uh which only gives us 30 minutes to get to therapy so i have to be like one of the first groups of people to pick him up because if not we won't make it to therapy on time so yeah i bought my laptop i'm ready to work on some stuff on my laptop for the next hour or so <laughs> but this is like so bad hopefully it gets better soon because this is ridiculous so anyway, I'll see y'all later. Doggy, daddy, daddy, daddy. Doggy. I saw a trolley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the trolley. It's a trolley. The trolley. Mm -hmm. You all done? Mm -hmm. You all done? Yeah, my hands are. sticky. Hold on. My hands are wet. Are they a little wet? Yeah. Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. So it's been a while since I vlogged. <laughs> but I just finished working out. So I'm getting ready to um, drink some water first and then um, make myself some breakfast. It's the morning, but it's nine o'clock. And I took my kids to school and all this morning, but I haven't eaten yet. So after getting off the bike, I definitely feel like I need to eat something. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And yeah i'll show y'all what i'm eating so for breakfast this morning i'm just gonna eat these wild um bagels <laughs> um i usually eat one or two just depending on how i'm feeling but i think today is going to be a two day these are the everything bagels the mini bagels from target it's the favorite day brand i think that's target's new brand um, but i only have two left so i feel like i might as well just eat both of them these are 100 calories each if you guys are interested they are bagels, so they do have carbs, but um, I'm okay with carbs. I'm also gonna make myself some coffee. This is my second cup, yes, but I have been up since 5.30, so. <laughs> I've been up for like four hours, so. I'm using my favorite creamer. This is Shibani uh, Sweet Cream Coffee Creamer. And I already put that in my cup. And what kind of coffee am I going to do today? Um, I'm just going to do this French vanilla from Dunkin' Donuts. 10 ounce cup get that started all right breakfast is served 
I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I'll check in with y'all in a bit. Time for me to take off my gel polish. It's been on for about a week and a half and it's annoying me so much because it's lifted so it gets snagged on my um, hair. And then yesterday I had one chip. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. I hate removing gels, but it has to be done. So I need to do my nails. I kind of don't feel like doing them right now though, but <laughs> I probably will do them. If I don't do them now, then I'm gonna do them tonight. So we'll see how I feel after I take these off. It's been a few hours, so I'm getting ready to eat lunch now. So I have made a salad. So I wanted to show y'all this, but I really wanted to show y'all this dressing. This is so good. Simply Vinaigrette Greek by Ken Steakhouse. I love it. Um, previously, I've been using the avocado cilantro dressing from, I think, Boathouse Farms, which I still really like. But I like this. It's like a lighter dressing, but it still has the taste of like Greek salad dressing. Hopefully, that makes sense. But <laughs> this is really good. Um, so, yeah. Um, you want to see the nutrition and there's that and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and eat this salad and it's going to be amazing on it you probably can't tell but i have a little bit of avocado but my avocado was going bad so there's only a little bit of avocado on there then i have cheese i have my sweet heat jalapenos and i have kalamata olives and yeah that's it I'm getting ready to do a bag switch, so I figured I might as well share it with you guys since I'm vlogging. So I'm gonna be switching out of this into my new YSL manual tote bag or bucket bag. So this is pretty full, so not everything is gonna go in here, but I have sunglasses. I'm gonna save those. And then I have my mini pochette, put that in there. I'm carrying my uh, Louis Vuitton card case right now. My keys. Have a mask. I have a um, gift card that's hanging out randomly in here that I need to put in my wallet, but I'm gonna stick that in there. I have a lotion, but I don't need that because I have another lotion in my mini pochette. A receipt, trash, <laughs> and then my headphones. So actually, all the stuff I had in here did fit. I didn't put the sunglasses in there and I didn't put the lotion in there, but I can fit the sunglasses in there, I think, because um, this is what we're looking like right now. So I can put the sunglasses on top and yeah, they fit. This bag actually holds more than what you would think. So yeah, this is my bag for the day. So I'm gonna go put my jeans on because it's time for me to go pick up Noah from school and take him to therapy. And I need to want, run a couple other errands while I'm out. So I'll check in with y'all later. Just changed and I wanted to show y'all my set of the day. This is from Atelier Colognes and this is Vani on Sanse. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is just a travel spray. I do have the large bottle that I sprayed on, but since I have this, I figured I might as well take this with me too. <laughs> So anyway, I'll see y'all later. <sighs> okay, so my main priority is done. I had to get my um, battery in my car key fob changed. So I came to the dealership to get that done. Um, so yeah, that's done. It was so quick, so easy. Yeah, so now I am going to go to the mall to pick up something for my husband that he asked me to find for him. So. Yeah, I'll um, maybe take y'all with me. We'll see. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So I just walked out of Starbucks. It is a madhouse there. The drive through line is all the way out the parking lot. So I had ordered mine online as a mobile order and I just parked next like next door at a, what is this? A discount auto parts or at advanced auto parts. But anyway, I went to come on cause I got their new drink. This is the apple crisp macchiato. And um, yeah, this is not a low calorie drink. <laughs> so this is just gonna be my breakfast today because uh, yeah. I usually don't like to drink my calories. Like every now and again, I'll splurge and get like a real drink at Starbucks. But I try not to do that on a regular basis because 
it's just an easy way to drink a bunch of sugar like honestly <laughs> so let's try it out it smells really good it kind of smells like a it smells like an apple crisp or like an apple danish it's good it's good It is good, but I feel like it could be a little bit sweeter. So if you're not into super sweet drinks, you'll probably like this, but I can definitely drink this as is. I did switch out my milk for a non-fat milk, but I don't think that makes a difference in taste, but it is good. I can definitely taste the apple and like brown sugar. It almost like tastes like some cinnamon in there as well. But yeah, it is good. I just, I could take it a little bit sweeter, but I won't, I won't because I mean, well, I don't need that much sugar. <laughs> but anyway, let me know if y'all have tried this new drink. Pumpkin Spice Latte is back as well. And I feel weird about these things coming back so early. Like, it's not fall. It's hot AF. I know I have on a jacket now, but that's just because I went in Publix and I have on workout clothes and felt exposed. So I put on my jacket. Um, but um, let me take this off. I'm actually hot. But yeah, it's not it's not cold so i'm not really in the pumpkin spice mood yet like i feel like it just gets earlier and earlier like this year i got an ad for um dunkin donuts their pumpkin stuff started like two weeks ago like it is hot this is like the hottest month of the year so why are we bringing out pumpkin stuff already like why are we always rushing fall and then i know it's like a nationwide thing and some of y'all probably do cool down next month but like here in florida it's just like we're not gonna cool down for like two months probably so i don't know it is what it is i know it's a big money making time for them um i mean when is it not a big money making time for starbucks but i know people go ham over pumpkin spice lattes so i get it but <laughs> it's just kind of like annoying to me like this is the summer meanwhile whenever they bring out drinks that i really love like i like pumpkin spice lattes but i ain't really like pressed for them anymore um but like when they bring out drinks that i love i feel like they're only there for like two three weeks you know <laughs> so maybe i'm just jealous and in my feelings about <laughs> the unfairness of pumpkin spice but anyway let me stop rambling i hope y'all are having a great day and i will talk to y'all later